Hello students my name is Alok Simwal and in today's lecture I am going to discuss about one of the most important hyphenated technique used in instrumental analysis LCMS. In this lecture I will discuss introduction, advantages, principle, instrumentation, working and problems associated with LCMS. So LCMS stands for liquid chromatography in conjugation with mass spectrometry. It is the combination of two major techniques of instrumental analysis. Following diagram is showing instrument of LCMS. In this diagram upper portion of the instrument is showing HPLC assembly connected with the lower mass spectrometer. In instrumental analysis, HPLC is commonly used for the separation and analysis of non-volatile compounds, while mass spectrometer is a powerful analytical tool having major use in structure elucidation of compounds. It provides information about the molecular weight of the compounds under investigation. As LCMS is the combination of liquid chromatography with mass spectrometry, it combined the chemical separating power of liquid chromatography with the ability of and mass spectrometry to selectively detect and confirm molecular identity. Mass spectrometry not only provides information about the molecular weight of the compound, but also about the fragmentation pattern and presence of isotopes of the analyte molecule. In synthetic organic chemistry and medicinal chemistry, mass is invaluable for confirming the identities of the analyte molecules. Advantages of LCMS Being a modern and advanced technique of technological era, LCMS is the great example of sensitivity, specificity and precision as analysis is done at molecular level. That is why this instrument is capable of providing accurate structural details of the analyte which can be interpreted easily. Principle of LCMS Being an hyphenated technique, LCMS utilizes the principles of liquid chromatography as well as mass spectrometry. In HPLC, visual components in a mixture are first separated followed by ionization and separation of the ions on the basis of their mass to charge ratio in mass spectrometer. Furthermore, the separated ions are directed towards a photon or electron multiplier tube detector which identifies and quantifies each ion. We already discussed the instrumentation of HPLC as well as mass spectrometry in previous lectures. So we already know the importance of ion source in mass analysis. Ion source is used for the generation of ions for analysis. Most popular techniques of ionization include APCI which stands for atmospheric pressure chemical ionization, ESI which stands for electron spray ionization etc. Next is instrumentation of LCMS. For a LCMS system, the instrumentation is composed of a liquid chromatography and a mass spectrometry unit such as HPLC and mass spectrometer. An interface between the LC and MS, an ion source that ionizes sample, for example atmospheric pressure ionization unit, an ion guide which is an electrostatic lens that efficiently introduces the generated ions into the mass. Next part is a mass analyzer unit that separates the ion based on their mass to charge ratio. And last one a detector unit that detects the separated ions. Working of LCMS. There are several different stages of process in LCMS analysis. Typically these include following steps. Firstly sample is introduced into the instrument where it undergoes separation process in the HPLC column. In HPLC column, analytes are separated due to their different relative affinity towards the mobile or stationary phase. 
Generally, the mechanism of retention or separation will depend on various factors utilized in different types of chromatography such as hydrophobic interaction, ion exchange, ion pair and surface localization. Separated analytes are then sprayed into the ion source of the mass assembly such as API source where they convert to ions in the gas phase. API stands for Atmospheric Pressure Ion Source. Here majority of the event is pumped to waste. Next portion of the instrument is Mass Analyzer which shorts ions according to their mass to charge ratio. Usually ions having specific mass to charge ratio of analytical importance are selected. Most common analyzer used are quadrupole, time of flight, ion trap and magnetic sector. At last, the detector count the ions emerging from the analyzer and amplify the signal if needed. Commonly used detectors include elect electron multiplier, dynode, photodiode and multi-channel plate. To avoid interference of atmospheric factors completely, mass analysis is carried out under high vacuum. LCMS is a highly sophisticated instrument, however there are certain problems associated with it. In LCMS, quality of the instrument response completely depends on several factors such as nature of the compounds to be analyzed, the solvent and buffer used as the mobile phase, the flow rate and of course the type of interface used. So problem associated with any of the component or factor can cause errors in the data obtained. Following are the references of this topic. Thank you.